brothers and sisters, and praise God. I'd like to read you a couple of verses from the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verses 13 through 16. And it reads, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Wow. Now that tells you that God's character goes into every creation of every person. Now Leviticus chapter 20 lets us know that sacrificing children to the gods was a common practice in ancient religions, which in our world today is the common practice of abortion. Now the Ammonites made child sacrifice to Molech, which was their national god, a vital part of their religion. They saw this as the greatest gift they could offer to ward off evil or appease angry gods. God made it clear that this practice was detestable and strictly forbidden. In the Old Testament times, as well as the New, his character made human sacrifice unthinkable. Now, unlike the pagan gods, he is a God of love who does not need to be appeased. He is a God of life who prohibits murder and encourages practices that lead to health and happiness. He is a God of the helpless who shows special concern for children. He is a God of unselfishness, who instead of demanding human sacrifices, sacrificed himself for us. Brothers and sisters, we as children of God need to speak up and speak out against abortion. We need to take a stand for God's word and turn from the ways of the world. That concludes this session of Nuggets of Knowledge with Master's Meditations. Thank you for listening and God bless you.